you are looking at the very first image captured by the largest digital camera ever built for astronomy, now installed at the heart of the Vera C. Rubin Observatory in Chile. This breathtaking view reveals the southern portion of the Virgo Cluster, located about 55 million light-years away. It is the closest large gathering of galaxies to our own Milky Way, and Rubin brings it to life in extraordinary detail. The image showcases a stunning diversity of cosmic objects, such as brilliant stars in hues from blue to red nearby spiral galaxies, glowing in icy blues, and distant galaxy groups painted in deep reds. Altogether, the full image contains more than 10 million galaxies, and it was assembled in just seven nights, using nearly 1,200 individual exposures. No other telescope in the world can match Rubin's ability to capture such a wide and deep image of the universe in so little time. But this is just the beginning. The Vera C. Rubin Observatory is unlike anything we have built before. Equipped with a 3.2 gigapixel camera, which is the largest digital camera ever put in space or on the ground, it will scan the entire southern sky every three nights for the next 10 years. That is around 20 terabytes of data per night, leading to the most detailed time-lapse movie of the universe ever created. Rubin will detect asteroid supernovae dark matter effects and even transient phenomena we have never seen before, with over 37 billion stars and galaxies expected in its final catalog it is poised to rewrite our understanding of the cosmos how is the rubin observatory different from every other telescope we have ever built for centuries astronomers have studied the universe through still images which are snapshots that freeze celestial objects in time these images have revealed much about the cosmos but they have also missed a crucial aspect which is motion many cosmic events are dynamic unfolding over seconds days or even years Capturing those changes requires a new kind of observatory, one designed not to take still photos, but to record a full-length movie of the sky. That is exactly what the Vera C. Rubin Observatory is built to do. It marks a revolutionary shift from static observation to continuous monitoring. By surveying the entire visible sky every few nights, Rubin will provide a dynamic view of the universe, allowing scientists to track changes as they happen, and rewind to see how they began. It is like installing a dash cam in Space One that records the cosmos in real time. At the heart of the Vera Rubin Observatory lies the LSST camera, which is a marvel of science and engineering. It is roughly the size of a small car weighing around 3,000 kilograms or 6,600 pounds. The camera boasts a staggering 3.2 gigapixels. To put that into perspective, it would take about 1,500 high-definition TV screens tiled together to display one image in full resolution. The focal plane is tiled with 189 CCD sensors each with a 4K by 4K resolution, cooled to approximately minus 100 degrees Celsius or minus 148 degrees Fahrenheit to minimize noise. Its primary mirror is 8.4 meters across or about 28 feet which gives it tremendous light-gathering power similar to that of other large observatories. This arrangement gives Rubin an extremely wide field of view of 3.5 degrees across, which is 40 times larger than the full moon in one exposure. Here is how it works in simple terms. Every night the Rubin Observatory will capture fresh images of the sky. Over time, astronomers will stack and combine past images of the same region to create a template image which is a kind of reference picture that shows what the area normally looks like. When a new image is taken, the observatory subtracts the template from it, pixel by pixel. This process, which is known as difference imaging, removes everything that has not changed, leaving behind only what is new, moving, or variable. It is an incredibly powerful technique. Whether it is a brilliant supernova suddenly flaring up an asteroid, zipping across the sky or a star, Pulsing in brightness, Rubin will detect about 10 million changing objects every single night. What is truly remarkable is how fast all of this will happen. Rubin will observe a patch of the sky for 30 seconds, capturing a deep, high-resolution image. Then within just 5 seconds, the 600-ton telescope will turn to a new patch and begin the next exposure. Each 30-second exposure will generate a massive 3.2-gigapixel image 
that will be read out in just two seconds, keeping the cycle moving seamlessly. This rapid rhythm will repeat all night long, allowing Ruben to scan huge portions of the sky with astonishing speed and precision. In just three nights, it will have imaged the entire visible southern sky, capturing anything that has changed, moved, brightened, or suddenly appeared. With this relentless observing comes a tsunami of data. Every 24 hours, Ruben will generate about 20 terabytes of raw image data over its planned 10-year mission. The observatory is expected to collect over 5 million individual exposures, adding up to roughly 60 petabytes of data. To put that into perspective, that is 500 times more data than the Hubble Space Telescope has gathered in its entire 35 years of operation significantly. More than all the ground-based telescopes in history, and about a million times more than the entire English-language Wikipedia. To grasp just how massive Rubin's data flow will be, let us compare it with the two most famous space telescopes. Hubble collects about 8 terabytes of raw data per year, while the more advanced James Webb Space Telescope gathers around 200 terabytes annually. Rubin, in contrast, will produce a staggering 20 terabytes every single night. In just one night, Rubin will collect more than twice as much data as Hubble does in an entire year. This scale is not just a leap. It is a data revolution, one that will reshape how astronomy is done in the 21st century. The Rubin Observatory is built to uncover what we have been missing, such as faint galaxies, transient events, and mysterious objects that have always been there but just out of view. And it got me thinking, what else are we missing? not in the sky, but here on Earth in our everyday lives. The Rubin Observatory is not just another telescope. It is a time machine, a cosmic detective, and a celestial archivist all in one. Each of its images will contain billions of stars and galaxies, some never before seen by human eyes. Over 10 years, Rubin will image around 37 billion objects, making it the largest astronomical catalog ever assembled. That is not just a list of points of light, it is a dynamic, evolving record of the universe. Astronomers will be able to rewind cosmic events, track the life cycle of stars, and study the shifting dance of galaxies over time. This unprecedented data set is expected to lead to countless discoveries such as unknown classes of variable, stars rare types of supernovae faint dwarf, galaxies orbiting the Milky Way, and perhaps even the elusive Planet 9 hiding at the far reaches of the solar system. In short, Rubin is like opening a treasure chest whose contents we can only imagine. One of Rubin's most immediate contributions will be in planetary defense. With its wide field of view and rapid cadence, it is expected to detect millions of new asteroids, including many near-Earth objects that could pose a collision threat. Current surveys track about 3,000 Near-Earth asteroids, but Rubin is projected to increase this number to over 3,000,000 with the sensitivity to spot objects. As small as 100 meters across, which is large, enough to cause regional devastation if they were to strike Earth. By discovering and monitoring these objects, Rubin will provide crucial data for identifying potential hazards early giving humanity more time to prepare. In fact, Rubin may be responsible for cataloging 90% of all near-Earth asteroids larger than 140 meters by the end of its first decade. Beyond threats, Rubin will also shed light on the origins and evolution of our solar system by tracking the orbits of distant trans-Neptunian objects, Kuiper Belt bodies, and icy visitors from the Oort cloud. These are time capsules from the dawn of the solar. System and Rubin will help unlock their secrets. But Rubin is not only about rocks and orbits. Its wide field view will allow it to capture breathtaking panoramas of star-forming regions like the Lagoon Nebula and Trifid Nebula. These vast clouds of gas and dust are stellar nurseries where new suns are being born. Rubin's ability to repeatedly image these regions over time will let astronomers witness the flickering and variability of young stars, the eruptions of newborn stellar objects, and even the formation of planetary systems. Unlike traditional observatories that might capture a static portrait, Rubin will deliver a dynamic movie showing these stellar nurseries in motion. Imagine watching stars grow up before your very eyes.
The main scientific goals of the Rubin Observatory fall into four broad themes. First, it will probe dark matter and dark energy by mapping billions of galaxies across cosmic time, revealing the large-scale structure of the universe and how it has evolved. Subtle distortions in galaxy shapes caused by gravitational lensing will give insights into the invisible scaffolding of dark matter while precise measurements of galaxy distribution. And cosmic expansion will test theories of dark energy, which is the mysterious force accelerating the universe's growth. Second, it will take a complete inventory of the solar system by discovering millions of asteroids, comets, and trans-Neptunian objects providing the most detailed census of our planetary neighborhood ever compiled and helping to protect Earth from hazardous asteroids. Third, it will explore the transient optical sky by detecting supernovae, kilanovae gamma-ray bursts, variable stars, and tidal. Disruption events often within hours or even minutes of their occurrence opening new windows into stellar life cycles, neutron star collisions, and the behavior of matter under extreme conditions. Finally, it will map the Milky Way by measuring the brightness and motion of billions of stars uncovering stellar streams from ancient galaxies charting the distribution of dark matter in our galaxy and providing new insights into the Milky Way's violent history. It is fitting that this revolutionary observatory is named after Vera C. Rubin, the pioneering astronomer who provided the strongest evidence for the existence of dark matter. In the 1970s, Rubin and her collaborator Kent Ford studied the rotation curves of spiral galaxies. They discovered that stars at the outer edges of galaxies were moving much faster than expected based on visible matter alone. The only explanation was that galaxies are embedded in vast halos of unseen mass, which we now call dark matter. Rubin's careful observations and persistence fundamentally changed our understanding of the universe though she never received a Nobel Prize for her groundbreaking work. Naming this observatory in her honor ensures that her legacy will inspire future generations of scientists, especially young women pursuing careers in science. Dark matter and dark energy remain two of the most profound mysteries in physics. Dark matter makes up about 27% of the universe's mass energy content, while dark energy accounts for nearly 68%. Yet we still do not know what either truly is. Rubin's wide and deep survey will provide critical clues. By mapping the shapes and distributions of billions of galaxies, Rubin will trace how dark matter has sculpted the cosmic web over billions of years. And by precisely measuring how galaxies cluster and how fast the universe is expanding at different epochs, Rubin will test competing models of dark energy. Is it a cosmological constant, a dynamic field, or a sign that our understanding of gravity itself needs revision? Rubin may not solve the puzzle outright, but it will provide the data needed to guide us toward an answer. Over its 10-year mission, Rubin is expected to issue nightly alerts for around 10 million transient events. That is, every night, 10 million new changes in the sky, which is too many for humans to process directly. Instead, machine learning and artificial intelligence will play a central role in sorting and classifying the flood of discoveries, highlighting the most unusual or urgent for follow-up by other telescopes. This collaborative network of observatories, space-based and ground-based, will ensure that no cosmic event goes unnoticed. The era of real-time astronomy is here. The Vera C. Rubin Observatory represents the future of astronomy, which is vast, dynamic, data-driven, and deeply collaborative. Just as Galileo's telescope opened a new chapter in humanity's view of the universe four centuries ago, Rubin is poised to revolutionize our cosmic perspective once again. In the years ahead, we may look back at its first images and realize they marked the beginning of a new era, which was a time when the universe went from being a static backdrop to a living, breathing story unfolding before our eyes. This is the power of the Vera Rubin Observatory. It does not just take pictures of the night sky. It captures the universe in motion. Thanks for watching.